All right, welcome everyone with Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Avatar, Avatar The Last Airbender, Airbender episode, episode six. six. All right. Well, I am I, I'm ready. really excited. Yeah. yeah I'm uh -huh. really excited. Now, I, I'm, I'm, I'm tempering my expectations. Yes. There's only so much awesome that we can have right. out we, of this, Yeah, right? even if we didn't get a ton of awesome here, we got a ton of awesome in the last episode. So, you know, mm -hmm. I'm... I'm 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 pretty sated as far as that goes. Right. But right. And it's more that my expectations were also so low that, you know, I'm uh -huh. I, so I don't yes. want to make the mistake of then jumping my expectations up really right. high. And then and only just sort of being like, oh, that was all right. Yeah. Right, right, right. Uh-huh. So so far, so far, a lot of changes, mm -hmm. but uh, a lot set up in this episode. We're gonna get the blue spirit for mm -hmm. sure. We're gonna get Zuko backstory. We're gonna get Zuko backstory. We're gonna get, you know, a co- Hey, by spirit world kind of uh, mm -hmm. uh, con conclusion. Yep. We're gonna get Roku. We're gonna get the Avatar State probably. Oh yeah, we're maybe gonna a get Shushu versus Appa. Yeah, yeah, we, we yeah. There's yeah. a lot like, of little things this... that we could get. We might oh, get boy. some Iro June flirting. You know, I. <laughs> there's there's so many there's so many little things. Yeah. Can't you just turn me over so I can pretend you're fighting? <laughs> 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 oh my god uh yeah and yeah. and and yeah there's going to be a lot of things that are probably going to get changed but i'm excited to see why they changed those things mm -hmm. because i think last episode kind of proved to me that this show can do things its own way yeah and it can actually kind of handle it mm -hmm. now while we only have eight episodes in the show we kind of need to do a lot this episode. So I'm yes. a little worried it that they're going to- needs to take care of basically everything that is non-finale related. But that's a lot. Yeah. And that's the thing. Maybe I think the, we can do it though. Maybe the actual lack of Sokka and Katara in the is going to like give thing. some space. Yeah, I like that. that. stuff to happen. Yep, because we don't need frozen frogs. No, we really don't need frozen wood frogs. That, yeah. yeah, yeah. We don't. And that's funny, but not that funny. And we already got the Miyuki reference. You know? Exactly, you know? yeah. So well, where would it even fit? Yeah, 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 exactly. So, all right, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Oh, that's a fun... Whoa. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh. Very impressive. Oh. Look right, I had trouble with the shoulder guards. What? What is it? Nothing. <laughs> Tell me. Tell me. Your gauntlets oh. are laced incorrectly, but no one will notice. What? Help me fix it. <laughs> Ozai, however, seems to enjoy having an audience. Your father says he welcomes different opinions. <laughs> I'd advise against testing that. It's best <laughs> to observe and learn for now. The way Zuko's like, yeah, I'll listen. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you're a good guy. I yep. I love you. <laughs> like a priest. <laughs> Looked so happy. Uh, oh. uh, hard cut to. Uh, yeah, and then the transition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Why are we off course? Who changed the heading? We've been playing catch up for too long. I think it's time for a new strategy. You think? I am the one hunting the Avatar. You see, he's going to do the I've been promoted. Uh huh. Yep. And I am an admiral. <sighs> oh. I saw fit to put me in charge of all operations related to the capture of the Avatar. I'll come by later. Yeah, this is obviously not a good time. Just a few personnel changes I'd like to make. Until then, carry on. Oh! Wow. Wow. Okay. I love Zhao yeah, in this. He's great. He's very different, but he's he's such a little shit. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant, do you know what the punishment for mutiny is? I do. And that's why I can't do what you say. Admiral yeah. Zhao was very clear with these orders and what would happen if we didn't follow them. We can't let him come in and take it all away. Not after everything we've been through. Oh, we've? Oh. Now yeah. it's we? Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. This is good. And this can be the reason then why they talk around yeah, the fire. exactly, right. Only those of us on this boat know what it's been like. Zhao is not the one who deserves your loyalty. General, with all due respect, yep. your nephew doesn't know the meaning of the word. If he did, he would have shown us, the people who've been with him night and day for three years, a lot more respect. He doesn't care what we've had to sacrifice because he's never had to sacrifice anything. Oh! You ask anyone here, they'll tell you. He may be a prince, but he's not our prince. Whoa. Sir, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I just had to get that off my chest. Uh huh. But you must understand, he's been through a lot, and he knows far more about sacrifice than you can ever know. Okay, I'm ready. Right. Give me. Yeah. Give it to me. Yeah. Give it to me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give it to me. Although it's with so many things in this, I yeah. actually am curious what they're gonna title it. Come on. Masks. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. 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 That works. Face that stealing. Works. Blue spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who you really are. Hey, Roku's Island. Ah, uh, and they're going for the like. It's you know very much like kept up like as a. Yeah, maintained, but like, what are you doing here? Well, right, but barely anybody would be here, like, mm -hmm. to... Nice. Ozai, not Roku. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably put up over a statue, too. Uh, my name is Aang, and I'm here to visit the Shrine of Avatar Roku. You see? <laughs> I'm the Avatar. We know. Hello. Yep. I'm a friend. Going very quickly. This will take us to Avatar Roku Shrine. Quickly. Okay. Yep. Yeah, let's All just right. get to it. Let's yep. just get to it. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Nyla. Nyla. That's right. Nyla. That's right. Not Nala. Yeah, right. that's Nala is Lion King. Shayu, these are relics from previous avatars that my grandfather gathered for safekeeping. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I need to make contact with Avatar Roku. He's the only one who could tell me how to save my friends. Step aside. I can't do that. Hmm. Then you shall burn, along with the rest of the non-believers. Burn the non-believers. Yeah. Burn. <laughs> okay, we're getting. We're yep. just going straight into it. The peace of the Avatar. Is it not customary to bow before your elders? <laughs> oh, okay, Roku. And hop on one leg. <laughs> Forgive me. Avatar Kiyoshi told me that I need to figure things out on my own. That it was part of my journey. Ah, it's Kiyoshi. <laughs> <laughs> what did Kiyoshi tell you the role of the Avatar was? Oh. She mm. said I need to be a fierce, merciless warrior. Yes, there are times when the Avatar must be good. Right. Yes. Yeah. The Avatar must also be a diplomat. I was... Yes! We can solve the world's problems without hurting anyone. <laughs> we could try. <laughs> <laughs> but like Yoshi, I am here to aid you in your journey. Anything you need. It has to do with Ka. Oh. Anything but that. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you defeated him once. No, I never defeated him. Yeah. I only managed to take something from him. <sighs> oh. A totem that represents something that Ko needs and cannot forget. The pennant belonged to the Mother of Faces. Oh. Oh, yes! They're tying that in! Oh. Holy shit! And she is Ko's mother. Yeah. Ko longs for the same thing we all do. Comic stuff. Hmm. I hope that you're able to save your friends. But the truth is, for the Avatar, friends can be... <sighs> a liability. Whoa. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. Ooh. So, not no Roku form, maybe? Or... No, and not. no, and no talking about the comet. No, I think that's already been talked about. So it's the whole thing of you know we don't need to sure. get into that. It's like it's a common knowledge type deal, right? Scorched body. Oh. Oh shit. Arrows. Oh, they're paralyzed. Nylon. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Nice. Cool. Oh yeah. That's cool. Not sure what all the fuss is about. As far as I'm concerned, the world's just fine the way it is. Nice, but but she was hired by Zuko specifically. Yeah, right. So right. He's like, she has shit. no loyalties. Right. I trust you. <laughs> you know why? Because if there's any missing, you'll come after us. Because you're so cute. See you around, Avatar. And she's out. All right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me do what I have to do, and 
I swear I'll come back. <laughs> That's such an ang thing to say. Yeah. Do you know what it's like to have people depending on you? To have someone's life in your hands? I do. Well, then please, let me save them. What that, happened to you? Hmm. That... The Earth Kingdom's forge that felt a bit pointed. Yeah. Coast. What would you do? Your Highness, I would suggest... Not you. Oh. Zuko. Oh. What would you do? Horn's tactic. Enveloping flanks, leaving an escape route to draw them out. Didn't you hear the general? They're protected by cliffs on one side. We could advance a division here. Ah. Yeah. If you send them into the heart of the forces, how will they retreat? <sighs> oh. They won't. But they'll be lost. Oh, here we go. What division do you suggest? The 41st. They're mostly new recruits. They're expendable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. It's like he wanted Zuko to hear that specifically, right. too. But also, this is, hmm. Oh, he's going to make an outcry now. It's a terrible plan. <sighs> what did you say? Soldiers are going to die, and for what? It's unworthy of a Fire Nation officer. You dare question it? Enough! <laughs> Agni Kai. All right. Okay. I like it. It's the first time we hear the yeah the words in the, uh -huh. the live action or, or right. hear from Ozai's lips. Yeah. Yep. Zhao. Yeah. Hmm. Just as we all know, you're in defiance of my orders, which means that by disrespecting me, you're dishonoring your father. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. We'll take the avatar over my dead body. Oh, how about your uncle's you dead body? Archers. And the disrespect to shoot his top knot too. Yeah. Off. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Where will you take him? Hawaii's stronghold for the night, then straight to capital city. Oh, it's like he wants him to do something. Yeah. Uh huh. He's like, please, please. And yep. I don't want him to be disappointed any more than. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Damn. Uh, Zhao. Zhao's one. Zhao might be a shit firebender, but he knows how to deliver the burns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whole high stronghold is impenetrable. Why do you think Zhao told us he was going there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows attacking yep. it would be suicide. Entire armies have tried and failed. I don't care. But Ozai does. Yeah. If he finds out. But the Avatar is lost. <laughs> For now. <laughs> Patience. <sighs> <sighs> okay, it's setting. That was almost like a good prep for Lake Lao guy, you know. Uh -huh. You know, but also like setting up the the switch from them being on the outs from the Fire Nation in season two, given that we're so close to season two already from an episode standpoint. Right, right. Avatar. <laughs> Had you heard of my name before your capture? Or was this the first time? Ace, you have to let me go. No, no. There are four guards, not three. If I were you. I'd be thinking less about my past and more about my future. I mean, I'd worry a little. <laughs> oh, well. You'll live. Just Don't barely. Don't well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Xiao is so delightful. <laughs> <laughs> what? We are the loyal sons and daughters of fire. The superior. <laughs> Standing on a box. Not quite the same massive army stretched oh, out right, for he's him. pathetic. That's yeah, the yeah. Right. We have captured the Avatar. Okay, now he's getting it. Okay, getting all right. It. It's just the first step. There will be mighty battles to be fought. Now he's starting to believe his own hype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh huh. I love it. I love it. Let's go. Great. It's time, baby. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Love that little bit of larger than life. Like. Yep. 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 Show us the set piece. Let's. All right.
Damn, damn, yeah, he moves good. Uh-huh. Yep, nice and quiet. Okay, we're doing this. Let's go. This. Let's go. <laughs> also, hmm. make sure the great sage has everything he needs for his research. <laughs> <laughs> uh, should I hold off sending that, that speech to, to the, the Fire Lord? Lord? Yeah. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, okay. And the way he's like, yeah, not using firebending here so that yeah, nobody yeah. will know. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he yeah. almost got blown off too. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> The way you can kind of hear Zuko's, like, that it's Zuko yeah, yeah. through the, yeah. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. All right. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hmm. He's like, hmm, I shouldn't have said that. Open the gate. And this also works with Xiao being more pathetic and stuff, where it's the like I didn't I didn't think about that. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Ang looks genuinely like, uh, uh bro, yeah. He's bro. like, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he immediately grabs the Uyen archers, which we set up. Yeah, right. yeah. okay. I, I hope he just shoots Zuko and hits him. Like, yeah, actually, like not not the mask, but like he actually like take him out. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I was going to say that could have had some more, like... Kill the mercenary! And recover the avatar! Now! Sure, I guess they're... Yeah. Yeah, they still have to chase them. Yeah. Well, no, right, but, like, it's the... Expecting the arrow to, would just go through the mask, you know? Right, right. Yeah, there we mm -hmm. go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Where do they go? Oh, ah, shit. nice. And that's the that's the connection to figuring out who it is. Yeah. Trying to help. I don't need your help. Yeah, rattled his brain mm -hmm. a little bit in there. Yeah. Fine. Huh, fine. Goat hair or rabbit? Your Caligula suit. Back. Oh. Goat hair or rabbit? Oh. I know I shouldn't have taken your notebook. I'm sorry. It's been a lifesaver. Really. Yeah. The information on all the past avatars that no one else has. Can't tell you I'm in here. It's a state mm -hmm. of I feel like I know you, kind of. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it helped me a lot. Goat hair. Yeah. It's stiffer, more control. My teachers made me practice every morning. So they're on your side. Why are you fighting them? They're not on my side. But they will be. If I capture you and bring you back, I... <laughs> Realizes how it sounds when he says it out loud. And then I can take my place as the rightful heir to the Fire Lord. That's what you want? To be the next Fire Lord? Yes. <laughs> yes? Of course, it's what everyone expects of me. Hmm. Expectations. Hmm. You know, I'm the Avatar. And it's what everyone expects of me. So it was like, I keep him talking eventually, mm -hmm. then yeah. we'll firebend his ass, and then mm -hmm. I'll get him. Right, but he needs to wait for the the yeah. other troops to be farther away. You know what the Fire Lord is doing this long. Oh. So we don't have to be like him. Oh. We can show some compassion. Oh, yeah. And nope, nope, no. not happening. I'm the crown prince. 
of the Fire Nation, I will be the example for all firebenders. And my father is a great man. Ooh. Hmm. Ooh. That bite when he says it. Compassion is a sign of weakness. Oh, he's spitting his words. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Here we go. Prepare yourself. Forgive me, Father. I meant no disrespect. Rise. No, please, Father. Rise! Oh, oh shit. Oh! Don't do this. He's your son. We'll see. Oh! 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 And at that moment, Iroh's like, I need to get this boy out of here. Out of here. Jeez. Oh, he did oh, it! Oh, yes! Yes! Oh! Oh, yeah, he's... Huh. Okay. Yeah, they're... Hmm. That's your compassion. It's your weakness. Yeah. yeah. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Oh, he's not just burning his face. He's... Oh, as he's on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Say the line. Oh, and he's actually tearing up. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I mean... All right. Sh sh shit. The soldiers are gone. <laughs> <laughs> you should really work on your firebending. Yeah. Yeah, here's where this line act, this bit makes more sense, yeah. Do you think? We knew each other back then. Do you think we could have been friends? And then he goes and he shoots at me again and... Yep. Yep. And the boat goes out to the water. Yep. Beautiful. Damn. Okay. You should turn in, sir. We'll keep watch. Any sign of the prince, we'll let you know. Thank you, Lieutenant. But I'll wait a little longer. Lieutenant, have you ever wondered how you and the others were assigned this <gasps> Oh. The doctor is creating a special herbal box. They were the people that were going to be sacrificed? Now is not a good time. I wish to speak with my son. He's hurt. He'll recover, but he'll <laughs> never heal. Whoa. Yeah. You held back today. And I like how now that he's he done it, that a sign of respect, but it wasn't. he doesn't it was weakness. He doesn't understand the disconnect he here. No. Because he purged the weakness when he burned him. Yeah. Right? Right. Sometimes the weak can become stronger. Sometimes you just have to give them a chance. Oh. And this is where he decides to oh, vanish. Oh, yeah. Perhaps the demands of the world outside will prove to be a better teacher. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love... You will leave here immediately. And you are not to return until you have conquered the greatest remaining threat to our nation's destiny. And since you're so concerned with the 41st Division, take them with you as your crew. Nice. Yeah. Nice. We are the 41st. And you're all alive because of my nephew's sacrifice. Feels a little bit cheesy because yeah. a division is what, seven men? Right. Well, yeah. I mean, even if it's 50, like, that's. Yeah. You're injured. I'm fine. We should have some. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you where you... <laughs> Attention! So... Our prince has returned. Okay. A little... A little trite, but I think it works enough. Yeah. Head cannon. they still sacrifice the division. These are just... They must have missed you at music night. <laughs> 
he just needed a crew for the ship, and so, you know, they spared 20 of them or something. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. It's amazing how far we'll go to hide our true selves from the world. Perhaps it's because we don't want people to know how much they really mean to us. Yeah, now you still got to deal with that whole co situation. Although now that he has the thing, he can just. God, this. Is... Mm -hmm. Just the right amount of gross. Mm -hmm. Cool. And so the thing that he did. This is kind of like also doing the thing that he did with Hey Bai. Mm hmm. Nice, because doing that for Hey Bai, that's one thing. Doing it for Ko, that's another, right? I mean, well, yeah, it's more the idea of that being a direct threat than uh, having the having to explore the nuance of Hey Bai's reason for taking them being that they, you know, it's the forest spirit lashing out at them. They they kind of needed it to be a more like terrifying, uh, sure. simple threat. Okay, a, that that more of an that's environmental also a message, point. you know. Well, I suppose it can be scary to admit you need people. Yeah. Some might see that as a weakness, a liability. After all, right. all, what greater pain is there than losing someone you love? Or worse. Right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's why we feel the need to hide away and protect ourselves. Hmm. It's the equivalent of him looking at the Fire Nation flag. Yeah, you know? yeah. And turning away from it before turning he goes away to from sleep. It before going to sleep, yeah, yeah. Iroh literally tucking him in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's like, wait a minute. It's not hard to understand why. What's hard is knowing that sometimes the mask is who we really are. Mm-hmm. Cool. Nice. All right. Okay. All right. All right. I really like that. I don't that. know. I don't know. I, that, that, there, there, there were some bits where I was like, mm, like, it didn't, I don't know. Okay. Right. So, Masks, it happened. Blue spirit. Yeah. Agni Kai. Mm-hmm. We got stuff it. with uh, fire... Well, yeah, Ozai and then Roku and mm -hmm. and all yep. this so, so much stuff. Yeah, so oh, man, this is a this is a crazy episode. So they shoved so much in this episode. They mm -hmm. cut out a ton. Yep. But I get what they were going for here, and I think the parts that were most important for them to land, they landed right. almost like almost. Yeah, there there were some slight like slight little bumps where I'm like, oh yeah, I love all of these changes, and then like a little thing, I'm like. I don't know about that one. Yeah. But yeah. like I I feel like there's a lot of a like the even the things that I wasn't as sure about. Mm -hmm. I feel like I could see the reasoning of why they're doing it and mm -hmm. it does make sense. You know, it feels like it it fits it just the degree that it worked for me, you know? Sure. Maybe I'm I'm not as sure about. Yeah, I think I think the the big part of this episode that, you know, is the highlight for sure is Zuko's backstory. Yep. And then of course, um the the blue spirit uh, rescue part um, mm -hmm. specifically. So on the one hand, the blue spirit rescue part was almost identical to the show, but you know yep. translated into the characters that they presented in the live action here. Right. Um, the Zhao it, it was really great. stole the scene whenever he was present in a way that was fun. Like, yeah. And I feel like that's just a consistent thing that he's doing. Zhao's so, Zhao's great. Yeah. I I don't think that there's anything I would um, be you know, able to critique with regards to the fact that he's just a different Zhao. You uh -huh. know, it's just that, no, this Zhao is this way. And yeah, I, it wouldn't fit for him to be standing, you know, with like, you know. Jason Isaacs, you know, trying to pretend that he's Saruman. And, yeah, exactly. You know, right. Yeah. 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 I, yeah, I, I'm okay. I'm okay with him being this way. It's mm -hmm. just, it's just, it's just fun to have a, a different type of antagonist rival for Zuko. And, and, and I, Still I, brings the right energy mm -hmm. out of Zuko. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I feel like it's also a fun way to um, make it so that some of the things that happen in the events of the show that involve Zhao yeah. um, don't feel like, oh, it's because this is a kid's show, but it's because Zhao is, you know, he's not the most competent person in general, right? No. Like, and we enjoy seeing him get, like, his comeuppance and all that stuff. Right. So it's not the, 
oh, how was, like, oh, it's impossible to break into this, you know, fortress. Like, there's no way. And then he, Zuko immediately does it in a very short period of time. Yes, it's because Zuko's very competent, which was displayed, but also, but also Zhao, Zhao was, was like, like okay, celebrate! Time. Celebrate, everybody. Yep. I thought they were going to go for the thing of him being like, this is the stronghold that I'm coming from here. Please try to rescue it. Yeah, Please yeah. Please try to take him away from me. Uh-huh. Because it would be so fun to have him be like, just, you know. Yeah. Everyone that's on guard, stay alert. A very stupid prince might come by to try that's, and start something. That's more of what I was expecting. That's probably the part that was the most, like, especially here. Especially because they rushed through uh -huh. the Blue Spirit stuff so quickly. It made them basically feel like they were just taking the highlight moments and mm -hmm. then just being like, okay, so if I was someone that didn't watch the animated show, this would have felt very. It actually would have felt, I would say, worse. underwhelming. Yeah. yeah, it would just felt like, oh, cool. Because that was fast. But wow. then also, like from a, a character standpoint for Zhao, um, this is your you won the lottery. Yeah, I would think this would be, or especially it's the if any of you fuckers, you know, right? If I see you slacking on your posts, I will bury you, you know, right? right. Like, and then it's the, but you know. Three days from now, we will, you know, we will drink and make merry, you know. Right, but the celebration thing being the reason why Zuko was able to get in at all is a cool one. So, there we yeah. go. Um, but, okay, Aang and Zuko having much more time to converse and talk. I like that. I really like that. Yeah, because yeah. it's... Um, for it's not thing. undermining anything in it, the show to have them speak more during that right. time that they're, you know, alone together. And it also, I feel like... Um, given that Zuko is less extreme and he's, we've already seen a lot more of his nuance, mm -hmm. even before the backstory and all that stuff, um, it, I feel like it wouldn't have felt right if suddenly it's just, and now I immediately go and attack you. You know, even mm -hmm. though I liked what that did in the original show, um, with this version of Zuko, I, I feel like it, this was, this was a good choice. Right, because that was actually the limitation I would say of the. 23 minute, you know, episode yeah, length that we actually spent so much time on the herbalist, settle down, young one. Right. And then your friends are going to be fine. And then the, oh, uh, why did Aang end up going out so that he could get captured? Uh, uh, some arbitrary thing with the yeah, friends frogs, because of the know, storm. And then yeah, the yeah. UEN archers do ridiculous, you know, impossible things. Impossible as things. opposed to, like, oh, cool, you got a name for them and Zhao can. You know, say this thing that I don't even like in the sh in the original show. I took it, it like I felt like it was supposed to be taken seriously. Whereas mm -hmm. in this, I feel like it's just yeah, no, this is the propaganda that we have for them because they're they're our elite sniper force or whatever. But really, they're just doing what ranged combatants are supposed to do in situations yes. like this. You know, they make narrative like things very complicated and frustrating to deal with because that's cool that you've got your great sword skills or whatever. But you know, like. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Technology, you're, bitch, you're right? <laughs> like, you're That's it. Yeah. Um, um, but then being used uh, in this way, in this very limited sense, I was fine with because mm. it made the escape of the fortress a little bit better because then they're like, okay, no, now immediately go rush and take everybody. And it's not the uh, knock out the thief. I'll present yeah, yeah. him. No, 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 no. No, take him out. Just, right. Just go. And that, that is one thing where I'm like, okay, that's something that could have been changed. Personal preference, mm -hmm. I think you could have totally made it work, especially with the extended conversation with Zuko, where it's the, and they even kind of had some things where it's like, ah, he's hurt, but like, he didn't really take any hits other than the one in the head, but he kind of felt like more hurt than that, I guess. It would have been it would have been cool to have it be maybe like, a little bit more gruesome, have it hit him in the shoulder or something. Yeah, and then it's the Aang then, like, actually really then, like, gets him out of there, you yeah. know? And then it's and then the, when he comes back, he's all bloodied and and wounded. And yeah, I was exactly. like, what happened? What ha oh my god! You know, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh huh. And then and then that also highlights even more the Ang being like, I feel totally comfortable, not like like just sort of sitting here and just being like, hey, what's going on? Because one, yeah, I'm confident I can beat you regular, mm -hmm. but also you are also yeah the, the, all kinds the, of Zuko trying to actually fight back would be even more sad and mm -hmm. pathetic because yep. then it's the you, you're clearly wounded and I'm helping you do this exactly. but instead it's the I guess he had his skull rattled a bit you know his bone yeah. his brain rattled a little bit cuz it it could have been a kill shot sure and, right and and yeah. also the idea of the like okay the mask kind of saved the him the mask saved him but then like if these are elite archers why did they shoot for the one place that has potential armor you know right they're not 
perfect. They're not. You yeah. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, they, 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 they make narrative they can't decisions. Shoot the, they can't shoot the wings off a fly because otherwise they would have gone for an eye hole. You know, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. But, um, but I like I still I liked how that went. I liked mm-hmm. the way that they worked into the the exact thing that sets him off after they've been talking mm-hmm. is the no compassion, and it's like, oh. Right. Oh, don't don't yeah, we get started. Going, yeah, yeah, right. Like that was a that was a great way to get into it. And then that sets up the flashback. So yeah. I love what they've been doing with Zuko's crew mm-hmm. um so far. They've done enough times showing that Zuko's been a little shit to them, basically. Yep. So the blow up scene that the one has at Iroh, I fully believed that. I believed it. It was yeah. really well acted. I think it was mm-hmm. I think it was great. And he but, has finally the chance because no, there's somebody that outranks, you know, Zuko in yeah. this situation. Right. But then setting it up for the Iroh throughput throughout this as Iroh is narrating in the beginning and end of the episode. I, I like this. So we get the Iroh is there. Iroh mm-hmm. was the perspective character, if you will, for the horrific yeah. uh, incident. And we get the full buildup. They gave us everything. Mm-hmm. They gave us the little Iroh scene with Zuko and him like... Oh, yeah. Putting on his as little, he's all you know, hopeful and like yeah, you know, putting on his official. I'm a Fire Nation. Yeah, my first soldier war, war meeting. Which I gotta say, they also made some changes in there that I felt made it made the situation a lot more believable. Yeah, because ah, don't you know, like just keep quiet and just you know, my, my gotta, father lo- welcomes other opinions. Right. Yeah. yeah that was, yeah, that was yeah. great. Don't don't maybe don't test. Maybe that. don't test that. Right. Yeah. Like, not in an animated show, it would feel a bit weirder for the, ah, someone says something. What? We can't do that, you know? Right? Like, that's like, okay, bruh, you know? But but instead having Ozai being like, no. No, I'm specifically going to, like, yeah. I want to see, you know, if Mm -hmm. you're listening, if you're paying attention. Zuko was so awestruck by, like, being there. Yeah. He was like, oh. And then he kind of just wasn't listening, which just feels so perfect. Just uh-huh. Zuko being like, I'm so nervous. Oh my God, mm-hmm. he's having, wait, dad, he's asking me a question. Oh God, he's asking me a question. Right. Uh, this, uh, this felt like know. the equivalent of the, um, trying to show off the stuff for Zulon mm-hmm. and it just doesn't work, you know? And it's like the, okay, you know, what what is this pop, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In Zuko alone, yeah. Right, but, yeah. Then, but then having it specifically be here where it's showcasing the, um, you know, the Ozai, was having, you know, he was he was fathering the way that fathering the way that he was fathering, but long before the Agni Kai, yes. you know, right? Yes. Like that's yes. that's just the the catalyst, the the catalytic event that you know caused this. Right. Change. So so the idea then that Zuko doesn't just speak up initially of like uh, he, like he's trying to come up with these ideas and it's like no, they're earthbenders, you can't. Put tanks on a cliff that'd be a terrible idea you know? right, right right but but the but the thing of like oh not just uh you're gonna do that like and then right. he's like suko like yeah like it's so, the it's the this is the lesson of why i brought you here is very much the thing that like felt like it was being like set yeah, up we need to basically not let there be any weakness otherwise we won't mm. be able to take over the world right yeah. like this is the you're a big boy now so i'm gonna i'm gonna have to talk with you right right you know and then after it's all resolved, and then having it after that even more, him going, this is a bad plan. Like, well, like, and and specifically after the general antagonizes him too. Oh uh, yeah, that, that yes. I thought was fun because because then it's the like that's that's showing even more how Ozai like truly did not have Zuko's back in that situation. Now, of course, Zuko ends up saying the whole thing, but mm-hmm. like the. Well, that's why he thought. That's why he thought he was gonna. That's also right, exactly. that he was, thought he was gonna fight the general. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, and and yeah. yeah, and in that sense, I uh, like I totally get the you know Ozai thing of like, all right, well now we're gonna you know, both of you are gonna fuck around and find out, you know, right? Mm-hmm. So all right. Yeah. But and then nope, nope. Um, Ira was there in the animated show. Mm-hmm. So was Azula, and there was mm-hmm. all the generals and everything. Yep. Um, but the way it was shot drawn, I guess, in the animated show made it look way more dark and depressing, almost like it was an impressionistic view of what the... Oh, sure. Uh, the the horror of that event was for both Iroh and Zuko. Although I feel Whereas like... this feels like it's just it's a bright day. It's just oh, we're out here and we're gonna do this. Mm-hmm. And so, so I got... Or, or, sorry. I'm, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, um, 
in the original show, I think that was more of a thing just to showcase when we were in backstory land. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm aware. I'm, I'm saying that I, I think that this just being another day gives a different image to me because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. obviously we're in backstory. Yeah. We don't. Yeah. We don't need that in right. the in the in the live action. But it's just something where I don't feel the terror as much of what this meant mm. to Zuko um, in the way that this is set up. Gotcha. So in some ways, it felt like they needed to add the fighting of like having Zuko actually fight to make it feel like that because he's uh. losing. And then we get this bit where Iroh has two parts in this where he's like, Ozai, like don't do this. Like, you yeah. know, but then mm. also when like, when Zuko ends up like doing well, I guess in the fight, like Iroh almost gives this little bit of like, 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 hmm. Yeah, like like you you're doing oh, this. Yeah. And so it just it just feels yeah, like we're now seeing hmm. just a spar and that's not what this was. That's in a good the animated point. Show. That is a really good point cuz this is something where Ozai is effectively abusing his son in public mm -hmm. in front of a bunch of people. And yeah. that's why this was such a horrific bit is not that you know, Zuko lost the fight and then right. could have done something. Cause, no, because obviously he's going to lose the fight. Yeah. So, so it feels like they're trying to add an extra bit of nuance by making it that Ozai was holding back. Which, of course yes, he was. of course he was. Yeah. But that's not the point. Right. Regardless of whether he was holding back or yeah. not, Zuko had no chance. This was all uh, just a, 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 a way for him to beat down that little bit of Zuko that was trying to d defy him. Mm -hmm. And it made Ozai more into an egomaniac where it's the, how dare you disrespect me, disrespect the, your fire Lord, you know, like in this way, like, yeah. The, and so, yeah, the, like mm -hmm. thinking about the bit with, cause I, I totally missed the significance of that bit of Iroh, like kind of like being like, okay, yeah, he's doing good. That that th that does really throw off what what's going on. If we like, but that also could have been a window into what's going on, right? Right. Because if if we see this and we're and we're thinking, oh, Zuko's actually doing pretty good, and I was just like, I don't know, like you know, like I don't know what exactly it would be, but something well, to showcase that like this is this is all. Uh, well, personally, personally, yeah. we get a scene in the animated show where they show the the people watching, mm -hmm. and it's only at the part where he's going to burn. Right, and Iroh looks away. Right, right. And we see Which, that here. Of course, yeah. But having something about, um, like, uh, Iroh's maybe more, like, like worry and, and, and uh, like, his care for Zuko, which I maybe you could glean that from there. Mm -hmm. But the way that punches even more in the animated bit is that you contrast that there with Azula's, like, like little yeah. bit of, like, uh -huh. yeah, get, like, yeah, I'm I'm tired of seeing you mm -hmm. as the just because you were born first. Just because you know, you're born first. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. this special treatment. But I'm better. I've always been better. Right, right, yeah. right. Exactly. And and then even there, they kind of muted that from Azula. They did. They made it kind of a thing of where she's just kind of like, like she's almost yeah. like, she's almost like emotionally confused looking. Where she's like, mm. I, I get the vibe that she's like, oh, I'm glad that this is happening. But I'm not like getting any pleasure about it. I'm just, it it does me good to see him getting, kind of, like getting something. Uh, uh, I don't know, getting something, uh, so getting some consequences from dad. Sure. Basically. Yeah. Like like a this is what I've had to deal with, and now you're not getting any special treatment. Mm -hmm. Whereas, yeah. If anything, like, um, she's. Her expressions are quite muted there. Or maybe even actually that she's concerned for Zuko, like for yeah, a little bit. I don't I don't think so. I think I think like it was more like, okay. Um Azula has been introduced as being a lot more like hot blooded than what what she was introduced as in the show, in the original mm -hmm. show. There's reasons for that. We've talked about that. And I I see the logic behind it, right? Yeah. This uh, display that she gives here would have worked with the colder Azula. I don't mm -hmm. think it works with this one because then it just feels like a lack rather than like the, ah, uh, yes. The presence of something. Yeah, right. Yeah. The presence of that active coldness. You know, um, the way the actual fight goes down though, I gotta say, 
I like and and with the the changing of the lighting, I liked the fact that the every time the Fire Nation is shown, it's specifically made to show how like sort of magnificent everything looks mm. because it's where like it helps it's highlight that kind of like pride and power and all that stuff, mm -hmm. which is the point of this like scene for Ozai, right? And From that it's his, the yeah. Yeah, because it's the. Yeah, I mean, yes, I need to educate my son, but it's it's that. Um, no, you you uh, made me look bad, right? And so now I'm going to do this, right? Or you're a disappointment, and that makes me look bad. I can't have you showing sure, that your too. your shameful weakness right. in front of everybody here. So I'm going to punish you for it, right? And so now he gives him the test that was what the uh, war council was supposed to be of. Right. Can you be uh, ruthless? Right. Right. And so when he like at first, you know, Zuko is just like defending himself. Great. I love the detail of adding in the the splitting the the fire that he's going to do in the fight with Azula. I think that's a great way to just you I mean, know tie that's, things that's, together. That's not from uh, that's not from uh, Azula. That's from, no. Yeah. That's yeah. from that's from the when he does when he does this in the fight with Azula. That's that's Zhao's move. Um, uh, yes, Zhao did originally do it in their episode that's, three that's, fight. Yes. That's, that's entirely Zhao's move, like no, no, in no, the uh, animated no, series. No, 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 yes, 100%. But I, I like the way that like that's that's being set up to still have a connective piece for, for their eventual fight. But mm -hmm. then the way that once Zuko actually starts using fire, immediately Ozai puts his arms behind himself, right? Yeah. It's the, I'm going to give you the opportunity to attack, right? And I'm still going to do my like dodges or whatever, like it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's the I'm going to show how much better than you I am. It's the are you do you actually have the guts? Yeah. Are yeah. you actually going to do it? Do I like how far does this lesson need to go? Mm -hmm. Right. And so then as it continues, you know, he realizes that like, OK, he doesn't, you know, like maybe he's feeling like it's it's half hearted or something like that. And so then he starts to, you know, like return the exchanges, not even using fire at that point, just being like, all right, I'm just going to beat you up. Mm -hmm. And then when he finally uses fire again at that point, it's the no, a casual thing and you're on the ground, right? Yeah, like it's you, the you don't have it. Right. I was I was um pushing you before, very much holding back to try and get you to do what I wanted. Mm -hmm. But now that you're thinking like you actually can hold back, make no mistake of what this is, right? Like right. it if I'm gonna go out on a limb here with something, the thing that this episode very much entailed is they're They've absolutely scoped out and plotted out the Avatar and the Fire Lord episode for season three. Yes. They absolutely set up so many things with that here. Mm -hmm. And I think what they might go into is that Azulon, being the son of Sozin, perpetuated the uh, uh, cycle of abuse and power and domination that the Fire Nation started with Sozin's whole plan and everything. Right. And built Ozai out of that. And Ozai is a repeating of that cycle. He is, like he, is he is he is a just another chain within that, that. whole skip a generation kind of. No thing. no 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 just I just, mean, it, it, just Azulon it's not, had it too. But no no it's not yeah. a skip a generation. It's just abuse 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 abuse. Mm -hmm. It's just a, it's a chain. It's just a complete consistent thing. And Zuko and Azula will through this live action thing be shown the ways in which they were given basically the environmental um, things outside of their control that. Uh, saves Zuko and mm -hmm. damns Azula. And it's the... I, I think that's something that they're yeah. setting up for them to deliver even harder in Avatar and the Fire Lord in the way in which uh, Roku was used, but especially in the way in which they built uh, Zuko and the relationship he had, has with Ozai here, which is yes. very different than the animated show, but it is something that could be could be expounded upon in a lar in a very large, fun way with the Avatar and the Fire Lord episode way later. So yeah. this is probably one of those things where I have a lot of things to nitpick about this episode, but I like the episode overall, mm -hmm. and I actually feel like these changes set up good things in some ways yes. for future episodes. Well, just the the biggest like benefit that I think that the way that the flashbacks were done gets other than just going into things with more like time mm -hmm. is that now we have more characterization for Ozai because yeah, in true. the original show, yeah. you know, we don't even see his eyes until season three. Right. So like yeah, it's the whole symbolism of Zuko coming back and exactly, you know, that's when he actually finally sees him. Right. And so the, 
the way that we are getting this here, where we get to see exactly what the thought processes are for Ozai and right. his own little, uh, let's be real, arc that he goes on with this. Yeah. Up on to, to the you know final bit of the you know he goes to to um, to Zuko when he's recovering, and it's the so have you have you have you cowed? Will you bend the knee? Will you will you fully right. like submit to me basically? And Zuko doesn't. Yeah. And so he's like, okay, you're banished, right? The, the the plea, I've, oh man, the the decision to basically have him beg his dad for the, you know, but sometimes the weak can get stronger. Mm -hmm. I think they haven't shown Zuko in that weak kind of state yeah. as much as they could, mm -hmm. but they have done it a little bit. And I think that that, that was just enough to be like, oh, okay, cool. We now know why Ozai is so monstrous towards Zuko here. Right. This reminded him of his dead wife. This reminded him of Zuko's oh. mom. Oh, In okay. that moment, he's like, you still, you, you're just like your mother. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that monster, the Ozai of uh -huh. the animated show kind of came out there and was like, yeah. Okay. Now I can't. I can't give. I can't teach you. Right. So you won't listen to anything I do here. Yeah. And it's like this is this is your whoa. fault. You did this to yourself. Right. right you forced right. my hand. Right. Right. You know? right. And yeah. that that idea to have Ozai's monster, the mask, if you will. Sure. You, maybe the mask actually is who you truly who are. He really is. Yeah. And thus it's the the, the fire was lord burned away the, by the fire. The, yeah. The honorable fire lord that invites people's feedback and stuff is actually the mask. This could be a really smart way to say, hey. What was the weakest part about the villains in Avatar: the Last Airbender? Well, it was Ozai. Yeah, Ozai. He was too one-dimensional. He was too one-dimensional. There was mm -hmm. a lot of things that were hinted at his dimension in the backstory stuff, but they didn't go into it as much yeah. as they could have. So we're basically solving that and showing his nuance being that yes, he uses a mask of the lie of the Fire Nation that we're unifying the world. All of that is a mask. And thus then when right. Zuko confronts him about the, what an amazing lie that was. You, Ozai, personify mm -hmm. that lie. Yep. And, so, and this is where he fully adopts it like in actuality, right? Or where, he just shows it to Zuko truly for the first uh, time. Right, but the, yeah. the, the brutality of it where, you know, like he's, you know, he's crying as he, as he burns his son's face and then no, no, um, no remorse oh, or like meaning you know, that was a performance maybe conflict. even for the people around no, no, him no not that but like but like there's there's the that element of the sense. fire nation where they're um with the pride and the power and the kind of bravado mm -hmm. right it's the like like a lot of the stuff that they took this here with instead of it being the zuko won't fight but rather the like you won't actually let yourself hurt someone mm -hmm. it feels kind of topical with like the general like uh you know man's man approach to like you must be a real man you know and so now i'm going to show you you know and so that's that's the thing where the the um the idea of that where he can't have that empathy sympathy compassion right he puts that forward as the this is how you will be strong mm. and then because it's being done in this particular way he has to truly believe it he has to fully adopt it Otherwise, but he had already you know, adopted it. Again, this is this is a thing where Ozai wasn't Ozai didn't change here. Like, no, no, no. But well, mm, the arc is more just the regards to his opinions with his son. That's not he didn't change. It's just it's just the regards with his thoughts and opinions about Zuko. Like Zuko is like he was going to sacrifice. He was going to do the sure. ruthless thing. He's he's not he didn't become more ruthless at the end of this episode. He just revealed to Zuko who he all always was. That was the point of. Of, sure. Of, that was the point of Iroh kind of contradicting the thing of, well, he welcomes other insights. And it's like, maybe don't test that. Yeah. Iroh's like, you still think of your father as this great man. And that's also Zuko mm -hmm. says to, Yeah, you know, my father is a great my man. My father's a great man. And yeah, it's yeah. The, I've got so much abuse uh -huh. and brainwashing put right. in me that I still it's, can't it's my see fault my that, abuser. Yeah, it's my the, fault that this happened. Right. You know, yeah, right. yeah. Uh -huh. So it's the, okay, no, let's not... In some ways, this is where the show might be actually really deep here with this uh -huh. is, let's not fall for Ozai's mask here. Let's okay. not fall for it because so, that's the part that was probably the most changed in this episode, if you yeah, will. Yeah, I was, I was kind of shocked when 
like we see Ozai and it's not the, you know, like, all right, I'm going to teach you a lesson. Because we didn't see that. We, we didn't see it. Yeah, but, yeah. but like that, what it, what it felt like to me is that it was getting out like you were talking about the, hey, he's still a person. Um, there's, there's a point, I can't remember if it was Katara or Toph, but the, some people are just born bad. And the idea that, mm -hmm. that that is not actually what the situation was with Ozai. It's that, yeah, sure, he had a, um, like, the, the passing yeah. on of the, of the abuse and the way this happens, but then yeah. it's the active choice of the, even when right. I'm, like, even when I'm like, what the fuck, I should not be doing this, no, he still does it, right? Yeah. I think that, I think that um, while, while the live action is going to adultify a lot of the mm -hmm. things of Avatar Last Airbender, Avatar The Last Airbender can get at things that are really adult themes while presenting them in a more childlike way so that everybody can get it. Yeah. Right? But I think there are a lot of things about Avatar The Last Airbender that from a, uh, from a, what's, what's the kind of desire of the, of the, the creator's like kind of mm -hmm. heart in the whole thing with regards to balance and respecting life and stuff is that Aang in some ways defied all of that by his choice at the very end of the show to make sure that we understand that, no, just, just, just Even the because, tiniest life or the most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the mm -hmm. most monstrous life, mm -hmm. even, even the ones that are the one dimensional might have been born that way. It's mm -hmm. not for us to make that judgment there. That is a great point. It's, 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 a, it's a thing of where Zuko and Azula are the two, you know, yeah. sides of what right. the Fire Nation can be. Yeah, so this is um, the reason why, like, uh, ooh. so the reason why I feel like the thing that Aang was getting out, like you were talking about, of even if they're just born bad, why that's so important is because uh, we will have limited perspective. We can never truly know if someone was just born bad, right? No. But we might see it, see what they do and think, yeah, ah, we'll, we'll judge them for those actions. We'll judge them for those actions as yeah, we yeah. should, right? Yeah. But, you know, to then to then have that kind of like, all right, terminate with extreme prejudice kind Kiyoshi of- Kiyoshi approach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kiyoshi approach. Right. You know, it's like, okay, from a practical standpoint, yeah, yes. it might be needed. We need to defeat the Fire Nation. <laughs> right, exactly. And <laughs> yeah. you're gonna have to, you know, sometimes you need to be a warrior, oh, right? Oh yeah, you'll need to kill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, all those all those people that Aang just blew off of the the, the, the bamboo ladder wall. things. Yeah, and the castle walls, they're dead. Yeah, they're dead or they're not walking again. Yeah, <laughs> like they are. They are not. Their future is not bright. Water bending healing is not solving anything here. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. no, not not this in is, the slightest. This is jet in the cave. You know, it's bad. You know, like, <laughs> right? <just> no. <laughs> yeah. So 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 yes. Yeah, but and, but then we get to see it, even though the characters won't have seen it, right? You know, and maybe that that right. does change the effect that it has. It changes the effect it has. I would say primarily with Zuko. Uh, sorry, uh, Azula and Ozai mm -hmm. because they are our antagonists, and while. I would say that um, it is very easy to see the ways in which they humanized Ozai here. Uh -huh. um, the fact that this episode introduces the humanization at the same point as bringing up the themes of the masks and who you really are. I love that because then it's the, all right, you know, what, what element of the donning the mantle of the fire lord or donning the mm -hmm. mantle of i am the prince of the fire lord or yes. donning the i'm the second born of the fire lord which mask you know exactly are you going to use because, for yeah because it could be very easy for it to just go with the way things were in the original show of the well ozai was born bad zuko wasn't born bad so Azula was also born bad so Azula yeah, yeah. was also born bad and yeah, yeah, so it's, so it's it's no straightforward nuance. there's no nuance there's no conflict and that's not really how the show it, presents it that's not how it pre how it presents it but that could that it could be people mistaken could, for that. People right? could mistake it for and that. And so yeah. showing how in this situation where Zuku is being presented with this choice over and over again, right? Aang is giving him this choice repeatedly. He still makes the decision that he makes. Right. Ozai still makes the decision that he makes. And so now it's the okay, but when is he going to make the different decision? Right. Right. And we know that that's what happens at the end of the season. Exactly. He basically it's like okay, let's 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 go, and mm -hmm. now. Yeah. It's in a lot of ways mostly just Zuko's just saying, I'm tired. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like he's he's been having little moments where the environment aggressively tells him, 
maybe make a different decision. It's not working right now. And he starts to make those little like, okay, yeah, it's not really working right now. I'll, I'll do that yeah, later. He kind of learns his lesson to the point where he yeah. nearly dies. Right. So yeah. Anyways, yeah. finale stuff coming mm -hmm. up. Really exciting. Oh uh, boy. We got a lot uh, to talk about when that uh, ends up coming because mm -hmm. apparently we also just got um, the second and third season of this show greenlit. So let's yeah. go. Um, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a really exciting time. Uh -huh. I am very very positive about the general direction of this adaptation compared to where we were after episode four. Um, this is this is not this is not the Avatar: Last Airbender you know uh, show though. This is no. this is its own thing. This right. is its own interpretation of things. I can see why the creators left due to you know creative differences and stuff. There's a lot of things that could have been focused on and given more nuance or given uh, maybe a different message in some ways as well. Sure. But um, all in all, it's it's pretty dang it's pretty dang it's, okay. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. It it works for me. Like yeah, it works for me too. Like I I like the different facets that we're getting to explore. I think there's a lot of really good stuff in here, and the things where I like, it's like oh okay the little bumps they're like, eh they're little bumps not like okay don't look at anything else other than the parts that you really right. like you the know part, the part that I I still am waiting for is I I really like to see. Um, Aang's character fully kind of coalesce and hold in tandem what he ends up doing in the finale. Yeah. With this, I don't want the responsibility because I think they could explore something that didn't get explored in mm. the first episode of book two with the whole, you know, people are dying, Aang and all yeah, that. Yeah. But they did do it in the animated show. They did. But I, I am... Oh, yeah, that there's some way they could lean into it even more in mm -hmm. this version, and so yeah. All in all, all right, let's let's go. Let's go. I'm, I'm excited for this finale. I'm guessing it's going to be a two parter. I think it's going to be a two parter. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to be them arriving, the Fire Nation's decision with regards to right. how that we whole need thing another went. awkward romance for Sokka. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I'm, that takes I, time. I, d I, d I don't. I don't. I'm, I don't yeah. have a lot of faith in that. <laughs> no, well, and, well, and let's because be real. the Suki stuff barely worked for me. No, the Suki. Like, yeah, no, exactly. And even that was like with some uh, okay, like some you know, squinting. Yeah, 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 some squinting. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, if they did want to like change, like change things, you know, I, yeah, I would no, not they mind. They can't take UA out. They can't take UA out of it, but they could like. Uh, I don't know. I like Sokka though. Like, I, I really like I, Sokka. I really like Sokka. So, Sokka's great. So, so yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll we'll see how this works. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. You can watch full length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about Avatar: The Last Airbender, about the animated show, about the Shyamalan movie, or what have you. And also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. And if that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're semblance of sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob, and we'll see you all next time.